Hey everybody, I am just realizing that I didn't do my message today, so my mindful minute is from In God's Care this week, or this day, this day, um, and it is from September 14th, and it says, do not use a hatchet to remove a fly from your friend's forehead, Chinese proverb. Yes, please, no hatchets. Hatchets are not good. Um, <laughs> especially on your friends or yourself. Um, some of us are prone to criticizing others' behavior, even when they don't ask for our opinions. Although sharing observations is sometimes good, we must explore our motives. Are we honestly trying to help, or are we subtly putting, down, putting others down in order to boost our self-esteem? In God's world, we are equal, absolutely. We're all on a separate, though very related, journeys, and we have to have an opportunity to thoughtfully help each other every moment. In this respect, gentle feedback may help some get back on track, but hoisting ourselves up at another's expense doesn't help him or her, and it harms us greatly. Our spiritual well-being suffers when we criticize others needlessly. The only sure way of helping friends live fulfilling lives is to love them and gently support them in their struggles. Their happiness will benefit the rest of us too. I will remember that my words can help or hinder. I will benefit from using soft words today. And ugh, there's so much in that one. And it's so interesting. You know, a lot of what helps me in the moment when I'm going through something is that motivation, the awareness of what my motivation really is. Am I doing this? Because, you know, it's kind of like that, that quote, is it true? Is it kind? Is it helpful? If not, why are you saying it? And I can have a tendency, or I used to, I feel like I've gotten through that and I don't do it as much, but I did have a tendency to do something that a lot of people do, and it is um, fill in the gaps of quiet with words that are unnecessary. And I think, I think this reading especially hit home in terms of the the piece where it is gentle feedback may help someone get back on track, but hoisting ourselves up at another's expense doesn't help him or her. And I don't think that. Um, most of the time, I don't think that gentle feedback is necessary. I do not believe in giving unsolicited advice anymore. It's just not in my, it never helps. Unsolicited advice is never <laughs> helpful. It always feels yucky when I give it. The other person stops listening halfway through. So I've made a concerted effort to not share my opinion unless it's asked. Um, and, and that's been a big help. That's been a really big help. And it says our spiritual well-being suffers when we criticize others needlessly. And I think for me, that can be more, almost something in my head that happens because I don't say it out loud. I think if I'm being critical in my head, that can still take me down a little bit. Like that can still put me in a place of uh, spiritual lacking and comparison. And, and, you know, one of my very favorite quotes, and I'm sure I've said it on here, is comparison is a thief of joy. And it is so important for me to remember that because when I criticize, whether I'm trying to build myself up and bring somebody down or, or whatever the reason is, because that's not typically my go-to motivation. My go-to motivation is more um, self-deprecating and that sort of nonsense and 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 that's where my like uh, character defects take me you know I'll compare myself to others and them being better and me being worse but that's still just as much ego that's still just as much being caught up in me and not trusting higher power and there's enough out there there's enough room for all of us to be good and to be well and it's not my I'm not people's higher power if somebody wants my opinion 
it's my opinion and I'll share it if I think it's kind, helpful, or necessary, important. You know, I, I love the four agreements and, and the part about being impeccable with your word. And, you know, honesty is, uh, is an integral part of my life today. I have to be honest. And sometimes it takes a while to be honest with others, but sometimes it takes a while to figure out what's actually going on. And that's this work that we do, and that's what that's what this is all about, and that's why this helps. Doing this reading helps me so much because I'm thinking about it now, and I'm aware of it, and I'm not beating myself over the head with it. And when we shouldn't be beating ourselves over the head with it, we should just be aware, and it's that awareness that will help us heal that will help us be a part of a of good in our lives and other people's lives and um i hope that that helped you as much as it helped me i am very grateful that i get to do this and i will be back tomorrow i'll try to do an earlier video but um i'll be back <laughs> be good peace